anything project, right? I don't know what to call it. So, can you, can you, can you keep going, please? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> What is, what is the project right. about? The presentation is about a video, a really good video about a superhero. It's very, 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 very oh, good. Oh, 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 Okay, he's got to click the link. Yeah, it's not. Okay, so what is this going to take us to? This copy and paste us. He's going to get a boo! He can't even make it a hyperlink. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's what I thought. Don't do it. 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 Don't do it
These are my reasons not for why Biden and Obama are secret lovers. Now on to my second conspiracy, a theory that's been talked about before, a more serious one at that, is about Archduke Franz Ferdinand and how a wrong turn and how he was the reason. World War I, the war that killed 30 million people, started. You may be wondering, how can someone so convenient how can something so inconvenient or uh, so convenient spark an entire world war? Well, it's been said that his assassination was one of many things that led to a world war. Oh, it led to a world, oh, it led to a world war. Wasn't the sole reason, but definitely a major reason. But what if I told you that is, I can play, turn this off because my Biden one's off. His assassination was caused not only by him, but a wrong turn by his driver. First proof is this. He made a, many rap songs and dropped bars with his excellent mustache. One of his songs, Take Me Out, released before his assassination, talks about him being killed, which makes us believe that he was in fact plotting against himself the entire time, having himself assassinated. But the driver didn't know this and was expected to go the other direction. He didn't, which ultimately led to his assassination. Many researchers, researchers have gone into this, and some links are Illinois EDU, what is History.com, Illinois.com. <laughs> Some say that Chuck Driver couldn't understand the directions, and that's why he turned the wrong way. But it's really up to debate. But those are my conspiracies that I personally Chains believe in. So Thank you for the time. Today. Have a good day. All right, Eric. Can we see the links, though? Can we see the links? No, it's just... Eric, it's, Eric. It's, Eric. It's just see the link? Let me see that. Okay. Yeah, you know, like we did, how they just showed it? Do you think it's done? Yeah, it, it, it uploaded. <coughs> sure. Yeah, yeah I I saw, come I to my it. presentation. Okay. I'm Billy. Billy. Is it Billy Jr. or the real Bill? Yeah, You're online where people okay, would back, dress up as a green back, alien. Back, 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 back. <laughs> what the? You're going to have to reload the page, I think. Yeah, read. Let's go like Billy Joel and then go back. Hold on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. 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 All right, quick, quick, quick. Oh, oh. Did you have to kind of wrestle with the idea that I am a short person and well, I, I have to compensate for this in order no. to have uh, a, a life where um, I can do whatever I want? I don't even think, I don't think I ever really thought of it in terms of that. Like I didn't go, I didn't, first of all, I don't know what the life is that I wanted. I don't know what I, you know, you want to be comfortable and you want to have friends and you want to be, like early days. Did he die? Born 1944, <laughs> November 17th. Yeah, height 410. Dane DeVito is an actor. He starred in such movies as Batman Returns, <laughs> Twins, <laughs> One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, Dumbo, Matilda, and who could forget the Lorax. <laughs> DeVito was born with Fairbanks disease, something that affected bone growth, which affected his height. Even though he was short, it didn't stop him from becoming one of the greatest actors known to man. He studied at American Academy of Dramatic Arts. It was around this time in his life that he wanted to do acting. Danny's first role was playing a thug in the 1970 film Dreams of Glass. He had a small role in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. His career took off when he got a role in the 1978 sitcom Taxi. How much? Five dollars. Whoa! Mr. Big Booker bets five whole dollars on his friend who he's sure is going to win. All right, all right, I'll get bucks. Money in the bank. He starred alongside Arnold Schwarzenegger in the comedy Twins. One of his greatest roles was playing the memorable, Love terrifying, that. scary penguin in Batman Returns. Tonight, on the parents' party, they'll be dreaming away in their safe cribs, their soft beds, and we will snatch them, carry them into the sewer, and push them into a deep, dark, watery grave. Penguin? I mean, killing a snake in the sewer, isn't that a little, uh... <laughs> 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 he directed movies. 
He's directed and made Throw, Mama from a Train, The War of the Roses, Duplex, The Ratings Game. In 1996, the movie Matilda was released. <laughs> Danny played an angry father in the story, but behind the scenes, he was loving and caring. During the making of the film, the actress Mariah Wilson, who played Matilda, whose mother was diagnosed with breast cancer. During this time, Danny and his wife would watch and care for Mariah while her mother was in the hospital. Before her mother passed, Danny was able to show a cut of the film to her. This showed how loving and caring Danny was. Besides his movie roles in his personal life, Danny was married to Rhea Perlman. They had three children, Lucy DeVito, Jake DeVito, and Grace Fan DeVito. In modern times, <laughs> becoming one of the greatest heroes the world has ever seen. Generous rule, yeah! <laughs> the trash man, a powerful god-level being that rivals the power of other characters. <laughs> yeah. When the trash man steps into the battlefield. He throws garbage everywhere and starts to eat it. His alter ego is Frank Reynolds, a member of the gang in the show It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Danny wasn't in the first season of the show. He first appeared in the second season. Him being in the show is what improved it and made it more hilarious. How are you? Nice to meet you. But it looks like he may commit suicide. Ah, oh, suicide is badass. Danny <laughs> has not only shown that he's a great actor, but a god among men. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, that's higher than beautiful oh, Billy. <laughs> you know what? Screw Heisenberg. Danny DeVito is the best anime character. Is that you get, Billy? Next reaction, by the way. Hold it sideways. 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 Hey, hey. Hold it. You hold it like this. Yes, I got this. Hello. Okay. Okay. So let me get a good angle. <laughs> Filming vertically <laughs> is just is just a devil. Breaking. This is why Breaking Bad is objectively the absolute oh best. Oh my god. <laughs> anime ever created. Anime. I, you anime fans? Yes. I'm not an anime you, fan. I haven't uh, watched yes, one. You, you guys are already pressed. Sir. And I don't care about your opinion. Next. I don't even like anime. And first off, we got Hank. <laughs> He's pretty freaking awesome, and he has a sexy dad bod. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesse! 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 We got Jesse. Everyone loves Jesse, and he topples any other anime character that you could name. Don't talk about Goku. I'll sign where you live and bring up Goku so he can kill him. What about Naruto? No! <laughs> oh boy. Slow down. We got Gustavo Fring! Oh he no! Banger fried chicken! And he's also pretty. Los Pollos and Mano, seriously? <laughs> Just look at him. And then number four! We got Lord! The he's built Floor wrong! He's built Floor wrong! Uh, 
We got the RV from Breaking Bad. It's such a pivotal figure in the show. You can't forget about the Fleetwood. And it's an RV that James May approves himself. It's four. Like, he's built toy for him. Five head, okay. Number five head. This guy's voice is just... <laughs> oh, his out. name's Mike Ermintrop, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> no sex. I mean, six. We got well. You said six, not he six. He almost got as many pounds in money as he does in weight. I'm done. <laughs> no <Number> seven. <laughs> roof, yes. roof pizza. Mm, delicious. You missed some M's, by the way. Number. Ocho. Ocho, crazy yeah. Crazy Ocho. We got a crazy Ocho. He's pretty fucking crazy. And he likes his sandwiches as well. Crust, you see that? He's not gonna eat that fucking sandwich. Look how sad he is. I'm done. <laughs> Number nine. It's all sex that mean Goodman. If I'm not wrong, he's pretty damn hot and I have his number. Why do you have that emoji? No. Nope. Uh, Ted <laughs> What the fuck is he? <laughs> fuck Ted! Get, get him out of here! No! <laughs> I'm dying. Number 11. Whoa. We have Holly. <laughs> She's pretty damn cute, but she looks like a soggy potato. Okay? Number 12. <laughs> we got Jesse's car. It's pretty fucking bouncy. And it, it's, he's Captain Cook. He cooks mess. Property of AMC, man. Number 13. We have the hairstylist of the show, Kelly Nelson. And as you can see, she does an amazing job hairstyling these actors. Look at that. <laughs> Any more? Is it top 15? That's next. That's the end. No, that's not the end. Oh, no. Not Oh, Number 14, we got Walter Jr. <laughs> Not like, we'll get to that. Where the M? His father-son relationship's unmatched. He may be disabled, but he can sure lay the smack down and disable <laughs> you on the mic. He'll roast your ass. Yo. Holy shit, it's John Wick. He's not even from Breaking Bad, but who cares? Who cares? It's John Wick. It's uh, John Wick. 30 minutes to a girl, seriously? It's John Wick. Oh, boy. It's John Wick. Uh, Number 15, <laughs> we got meth. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> we got my, meth. Can't forget the meth. My jaw is vibrating. <laughs> Number 16, <laughs> we got Walter White. Free cancer. <laughs> he was also high. Still is, though. <laughs> oh, shit. Danny fucking Trejo! <laughs> I forgot his character's name, but who cares? He is! Danny fucking Trejo! He has his head on a friggin' turtle! Danny fucking Trejo! Sky, uh, it won a... Sky, why is she here? Why is she here? Oh, she my, wanted to divorce and wanted job, to take the kid! Fuck Skyla! <laughs> oh, not Tito! <laughs> this is one scary motherfucker! <laughs> when you get interrogated by this dude... It's just yes or no questions. They ask a question, if it's yes, he rings this fucking bell. And whenever I hear a bell, I get PTSD from that. What is that? I'm Especially like, it's when he shares himself mid-interrogation. It's porn. No, it's, it's not, not porn. He looked like a porn Next. Next. Number 20. <laughs> 20 of Century Fox, by the way. Tuco Salamanca. He loves Walter's meth. So much that he beat his friend to death over it. Damn. Look at him. That's him on meth right now. Walter's meth. Number 21. <laughs> Why is that guy there? We got Heisenberg, a.k.a. Walter White. He's the coldest motherfucker in all of fiction. Screw fiction. He's real. All the characters feel real. And that's why Breaking Bad is better than any other anime created combined. I don't know if I can do that. Oh. Good job, you hold him, but I'm gonna keep the phone. I can record my. <laughs> Damn it, you have.